Hello YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider New Deno Trilogy Bajin. Um, as most of you know, uh, Kamen Rider New Deno's first figure art release was actually the uh, first exclusive figure art ever, and he became quite popular and quite scarce and quite expensive, going for hundreds of dollars uh, on Yahoo Japan and eBay. But with the release of the uh, New Deno Trilogy, and the popularity of Deno, they decided to uh, make a new mold and release him as a regular release, and I'm super happy about it. So anyway, let's get uh, on with the review. Um, take a look at the packaging as usual. Uh, pretty standard, you know, new style, unique packaging for figure arts. Mainly done in kind of a darker, navy-ish blue. We got a picture of new Deno here, who personally it looks like to me he's doing a peace sign. Like, peace, you know? Um, and then it says Master Rider, New Deno, Strike Form. It doesn't say Trilogy version here. It says it's somewhere else in Japanese or something. I don't know. Uh, and then the picture for the new, uh, the Deno Trilogy down here. Um, and then the name on the side. Uh, name at the top. And the numbers we need to call on the bottom. And then on the back, it shows all kinds of epic poses. You can get him in, you know, snapping his fingers with the axe, the rod, his sword, and then just a close-up of his face. So it's pretty standard. Um... Let's take a look at what he comes with first. Uh, he comes with a fair amount of stuff. Um, obviously, as with most, most with most figure arts, he comes with the two fists, which are on his hand, which I've already replaced with uh, one of these hands, which is the holding the sword hands, and then one or the only sort of splayed open, relaxed, holding his belt hand, and then here is the snapping fingers hand, and then we have holding the kinax hand. Oops, sorry. And I feel like I'm missing one. No, I think that's it. That's it for the hands, at least. Not it for the review. Um, and then he comes with uh, several different ways of displaying the den gasher. He has them on his belt, which I'll show you in a minute. But then he has the belt attachments for where you keep the den gasher, except without any den gasher pieces on it, which is nice. Which means those are attached, which is really awesome, so you don't lose them. Um, and then here we have the uh, rider ticket or the pass. Um, it's just a black piece of plastic with the deno symbol and such molded on. Which, it's alright, it's whatever. Uh, this is a back piece for attaching the machetetti to the, uh, his back, which I will demonstrate in a bit. Um, and then here's the den gasher pieces all put together in the sword. Uh, not the best paint job, but it's all fine. It's mainly just black. You got the red here, the silver paint here, uh, silver paint here. But like I said, not the best, but it does the job. Um... And then he has his Masha Teddy, which is his main weapon, which is, you know, Teddy in sword form, which looks really nice. It's a nice glossy-ish blue. Um, it looks great. Uh, great paint details in here. Uh, silver and blue, basically, the handle being black. Here's Teddy's face here, and just for whatever reason, it opens for realism, so that's kind of neat. Guess I'll set that aside. And then, of course, the stars of the set making him the trilogy version are, uh, this, I believe, this, the regular name for this is, like, the Kintano. Uh, I'm gonna call it the Kin Axe for the review, uh, just cause it's easier for me to say. But obviously it's Kintaros in axe form, and he looks great. The paint detailings on him all look fantastic. Uh, this fur is hard plastic, uh, that totally rhymed. Um, and yeah, so, it looks nice. It could've been cool if it was regular fur, but, um, yeah, very nice. And then, of course, the Ura Rod, which is called the, I'm not looking at notes at all, uh, Urtaza, Urta, Urtaza, or something like that. Um, uh, I call it the Ura Rod because it's easier, but it looks nice. You can see uh, Ura's face right there. Um, nice blue and black. You've got, like, a clippy right here. This will stop not focusing. And then a hook right here, which is not metal, but it's done on a metal hook. But, so those are the stars of the set. So very cool. So let's take a look at the figure detail wise. First off, his head sculpt is really fantastic. Um, the starting with the compound eyes, New Deno has one of the bigger compound eyes and because of the sparkly stuff they put in the back it really shines off nicely and looks great and uh, does a great job of the figure. Other than that basically not a lot going on other than the other things here and the base Deno like back mold but it looks really fantastic. Um, his chest looks good too, um, not like a whole lot going on, he just kind of got the deno symbol here, which leads into these, which are all nicely painted. Uh, the whole figure is cast in his, like, two different kinds of blue, like a darker blue and a lighter blue. Uh, they're both done very nicely, they're shiny where it needs to be here, as you can see. 
on these areas is these are silver knee pads. I don't know why I'm, unless you're colorblind, you know. But that looks very good. Uh, the belt also painted very nice. This is more of like a dull bronzish color, I guess. And then the yellow light here and the buttons here are all painted. And then here are the Dengasher pieces. They're all like solid black. Uh, no color to them, but it's really nice that they have an attached version, unlike the Sochaku Henshin, which, uh, you know, you can lose the pieces fairly easily. So articulation, uh, pretty standard, uh, you know, you got the ball joint around here, up and down movement all around, 360, um, and then you got the ball joint up in here with pretty much no hindrance by this. Um, he's kind of got this, what is it? No, never mind, I'm sorry, I was thinking of something else. Anyway, so then swiveling here, double elbow joint here, swiveling at the uh, wrist, He's got uh, articulation at the waist and at the chest. It's a bit tight on my figure. Uh, 360 ball joint around here. Uh, swiveling right here. Double knee joint. And then his foot, this is like the star articulation feature, is on a ball joint. So it, you can get all kinds of really nice poses and great mobility. So I really hope they continue to use this foot mold for figure arts in the future. So yeah, um... Obviously, you've already seen him with the Masha Teddy. I put it in his hand, and he's like, hey, like I'm holding it. So, just to show off a few quick things you can do with it, is you can put the Masha Teddy on his back, and to do that, there's this plastic piece back here, and just kind of pull it out from the bottom, and then wiggle it out from the top here. It's kind of difficult at times if you're not getting the right angle. Or when you're on camera and trying to show it to people. That's usually when it's most difficult. There we go. Just landed in my lap. So then take this other piece here, and just attach it, and it will click right in. It should click. Well, it's secure. There. Okay, so then you just slide the Masha Teddy right in to it, and not slant it and mess up. And then he can have it on his back like that. So that's neat. That's definitely neat. It uh, gives you that option. Let me just put it back, just in case. Um, and then, so, he can also hold the weapons, obviously. I think this should do good enough for the Uro Rod. Uh, he can hold it, and he can go fishing and stuff, and then his back piece can totally fall off. But let's pretend it's there. So yeah, he can hold that. And then just switch out his hand to hold the kin axe. It's a bit difficult because of the weight of it. And I get nervous when I put it in the hand so many times that it's going to like mess the hand up. And then, um, you know, it will stretch the hand out and then it won't be as easy to hold the axe. This ball joint is very tight. I'm having problems switching the hand out. I haven't had problems in a long time. Anyway, so you got whoops, sorry. So you got the axe here, and it really doesn't hold all that well. You kind of have to pu push it as far back as you can to the bottom, and then balance it on him. But you, keep, you can definitely hold it. It's just not very easy. I'll see if I can get him in that for the final pose for the final verdict, and just because. I'm going to. There we go. So there he goes. Yeah, we kind of have to hold it on in his back. I doubt there's. It'd be, it'd be pretty difficult to have him holding it down in a downward pose because of the heft of it and the way the hand works. But yeah. But so what do I think overall? I really love this figure personally. I've always loved the look of New Deno. It's very very cool. And um, I was disappointed that the first one was an exclusive that I uh, came out when I wasn't really into figure arts at the time. So super expensive, couldn't get my hands on it. Then they come out with this version, which is a lot better. Um, I forgot to cover quickly the differences between the figures. I mean, I owned it. I know that the uh, eye pieces are longer on the old one. And then the mold for the original Deno is basically the Sochaku Henshin mold. It was kind of like a hybrid like um, step between Sochaku Henshin and Figure Arts. So definitely a better mold. If you're shopping for a new Deno figure, you can probably find the old ones cheap. And the only reason to really buy that was to be, like, to be an old, a piece of history. Now, I definitely recommend this one over it. The mold is fantastic. It's a truly like great example of a Figure Arts mold with the tight articulation, no loose joints. The ball joints on the feet are awesome. The, the details are on him are just fantastic. And he has plenty of accessories uh, to keep uh, poses in plenty of variety. I said plenty like twice, but I definitely, definitely recommend it. Definitely gets the Dawson Rider seal of approval. You should own this guy if you are a fan of Deno or New Deno, period. So until next time, check out writersrangersandrambles.com for toku news in the craziest way possible. And of course, check out the crazy podcast while you're there. And you can also head over to the Ramblers to discuss toku and much more uh, with your friends. So until next time, it is Dawson Rider signing out.